My wife might hear me. Always. My wife might hear me. Got my My wife might hear Welcome to Dangerous Grounds Network, the number one online radio network, 100% American badass, sponsored by Madison Rising, King's Hollows, The Veteran Exchange, Combat Flip Flops, Branded Warriors Inc., Black Rose Tattoos. The Dangerous Grounds Network is here to give Americans a chance to be heard. Play bad at all our hosts have a great mind and knowledge to bring to you all. Anyone can come as a guest. Email us at dgn1980 at my.com and let's see what you've got. As we always say, let's get dangerous. In the morning and I'm feeling kind of fresh Five pounds of bacon on my motherfucking chest Carbon stained pillows, hands smell like lead Under my mattress, gun safe as my bed Loaded up mags, just ready to blast ISIS flag when I wipe my ass Blowout kick with my speedball bag Dressed up in my tactical swag Looked in my pocket and found zero fucks Until I pulled out my custom clocks Even wore multi cams to my first date Wait, what? <laughs> Bitch, I operate We might be crazy yeah, we might be drunk We're sipping on whiskey And now here we come And we're riding dirty This might be fake Three words for your face Bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate Chilling at the rain, fire rate sustain Lead showers when I make it rain See clamp like a motherfucking boss hog Got my packs in you, I'm a damn dog Two in the morning, doing CQB Tiptoeing down the hallway My wife might hear me Got my Instagram game on lock Especially when gun bunnies be drooling on my cock <laughs> Got the whole crew like We the best When I drop loads, <laughs> they're always suppressed People say, haters gonna hate I'm just like, bitch I operate We might be crazy, we might be drunk We're sipping on whiskey And now here we come And we're riding dirty This might be fake Three words for your face Bitch I operate Bitch I operate Bitch I operate All right, welcome to the Dangerous Grounds Networks. This is the Barracks Lawyers. And with a special guest, Mr. Snuggles. <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> gotta have the Snuggles on, man. We gotta have the Snuggles on. He's gonna yeah, tell us about way, some new fun took stuff. took way too long to get him on, but we finally got him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, gotta have a Snuggles. You got to, man. You got to. <laughs> so, speaking so, of... It's, yeah, it's, uh, but let me ask you, man, how the fuck did you get a nickname of Snuggles? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, it's – I wouldn't say it's a good – He looks like the bear. Story, but really how I got it is, you know, I started working at, you know, Club Avila and, well, my manager couldn't pronounce my last name. You know, my last name is Suggs and he kept calling me Snugs. Well, uh, I went to go leave and, and he was like, well – See you later, Snugs. I was like, wait, what? What's up with, would you call me? He's like, Snugs? I was like, dude, that's not my last name. And uh, one of the bartenders was like, you won't just call him Snuggles. 
And I just immediately jumped on it. And to be honest, I thought it was just going to be something that would be on the uh, like around the club, not outside of it. And then it just kind of grew from there, like spring break. Then everybody started calling me it. So it's like I'm really known for that now. And you call me Trey, and I'm like, what? I don't, <laughs> who that, I don't know who that person is. Like, who is this? So, yeah, man, it's – that's it, though. I mean, snuggles, so. <laughs> you couldn't come up with a better story than that? God damn, shut up, son. <laughs> I could, bro. I mean, <laughs> trust me, I tried, bro. I tried. I mean. Man got a radio show. He couldn't even come up with a better fucking story than that. God <laughs> damn. I'll do, I'll do better next time. <laughs> damn right you will. That's what we like, though, right there. Purpose, direction, and motivation. You have been served for the day, my friend. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we got a we got a good we got a good show for you today. We're gonna jump into to a couple couple little topics here. First one being shit I never thought I'd say in the military, but I ended up saying fucking daily. That one I think <laughs> we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that one, especially Garrett. You know, I think I think he's gonna have some fun with that one. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know then of course. Saying? Talking about oh, exactly. As soon as you said that, my fucking eyes wide open. I was like, oh, right. hell yeah, this category. Oh, oh, our second category is going to be homemade barracks porn, pros and cons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Then we're going into dumb shit you made your privates do. And yes, we're talking about actual like E1s, E2s, not your dicks. Okay. Okay. We don't want to know that. Basically the same. And then right before the break, we're going to go into uh, to beer or not to beer. That's the fucking question. Always beer. <laughs> hey, Snuggles, no. are we there yet? No, <laughs> shut up. No, but you mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> and for those that, doesn't, that don't know where that's coming from, you know, with the, the constant berating of the Snuggles, it is not that. It is a new hashtag. It's called Shut Up Snuggles. You got to check it out. It's kind of like the whole Carl thing, but just, dude, Snuggles is 10 times better. It's, We're going to get that fucking trending. It's, it's a thousand better. times better. I mean, I, I fucking agree. <laughs> dude, we got to go with that. But we're going to jump right in to shit I never thought I'd say, but I found myself saying daily. Country, you got anything? Something that I would say daily? That you never thought you'd say. Shut up, Sark. <laughs> no, honestly, no, honestly, honestly, uh, there was a, uh, <clears throat> there, I, and I did this on purpose, and I got my ass in trouble quite a few times. There was a sergeant major that would come up into the barracks to do the barracks checks, right? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> of course, the motherfucker's always out of uniform, and I know who the fuck he was. We all, you know, well, you recognize him from, from the fucking pictures that always sitting up on the fucking board, so as it always come in, I'd be like, private! Don't you know, where's your PT belt? Where's your motherfucker hat at? And he's like, Conwell, I'm going to smoke the fucking piss out of you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, Major. I didn't realize it was you. I thought you was in uniform. Every motherfucking time. <laughs> Every fucking time. <laughs> I get my ass smoked so hard, dude. This motherfucker. <laughs> We'd have fun for a couple of hours, man. But you know what? I needed to stay awake anyway. So, <laughs> literally get the cuss out of Sorry Major and not... Get written up for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's always a good day. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I mean, you're out of uniform. Come on, man. You, NCOs lead the way, right? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Garrett, what you got? Oh, good Lord. All right. Well, before I go any further with what I'm about to say, these are the kind of stories I like. I just want to throw it out there. <laughs> if you've never done this, don't fucking judge me. All right. <laughs> It means judging. So, yeah, judge, judge the <laughs> fuck away, guys. Um, <clears throat> something that I've said, and it wasn't every day, like on a daily basis, but I did say it an awful lot. Uh, something that I said that I never thought, first, one, I never thought I'd ever say, two, I'd never even had a, an idea that I would even be in a situation where I would have to say this, but um, – I always said like how hungry I was and how much I wanted ribs and barbecue when I was in autopsy. <laughs> that is true. Okay, like I said, if you guys have never done this before, don't fucking judge me. The first autopsy I ever went into, um, luckily for me, it was like one of the worst fucking autopsies we had we, we had to deal with. The, 
the, the the guy was in floating in the hooch for like six or seven days in July. So not a pleasant room to be in. And I was really, I was kind of nervous, obviously, because it was my first autopsy. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, so I'm more like, you know, blinders on, like I'm really focused. I'm really intense. I'm trying to get everything right, make sure everything is done right. And uh, we just so happened to have a, uh, an FBI representative there. And um, I looked over at him and I was like, man, can I talk to you out, outside real quick? He's like, yeah, yeah, sure. Come on. So I went and talked to him and I was like, man, I'm, I'm having a bit of an issue here. And I don't know if it's legit or not. I don't know if I'm going crazy or not. And I don't know if I'm absolutely batshit retarded right now. But <laughs> I cannot stop thinking about ribs. Like I want ribs and a steak. Like I just want to tear the meat off the fucking bone and shove it down my face hole. <laughs> okay, Dexter, that- chill out. And I don't know if that makes me a bad person or, like, a fucking potential serial killer or something. Um, <clears throat> so he, he informed me. He's like, no, don't worry about it. He's like, happens to everybody. It's, he's, it's like some kind of carnal response in your body. It's just when you're around a body being filleted open, you, you know, you get hungry, you want... <laughs> fucking Hamble Lecter over here. Ribs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, right? It's not like I wore him as a skin suit <laughs> that day. It puts <laughs> the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. Oh, just the game, the game. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, Snuggles, what you got, man? What 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 did you think? You know, something just fucked up. You just never thought you'd say that. You ended up saying every day in the military. Well, I mean, every day I'd say in the military. I mean, I don't know. I said a lot of shit. Uh, I guess kind of like he was saying. You know, yes, sir, I always said yeah, Roger, or yeah, fucking Roger, a lot. Just I never thought I'd say that. I just I always thought I'd be like you know, okay or whatever or. What a, you know, stuff like that, but and how that came to be was, uh, or you know, respectful, like, yes, sir, yeah, no, no, sir, yeah, fuck no, you know, yes, sir, no, sir, fuck you, sir, yeah, something, you. yeah, exactly. That was my go to, you know what I mean? Uh, but no, I mean, I guess how it started was okay, I uh, <clears throat> so basic training, yeah, we're going back to basic training time. <laughs> um, we had a, a drill sergeant, drill sergeant Wills, who, uh, fucking awesome dude. And he would always come in, and you would think this guy was on crack or something. He was always pacing back and forth, you know, fucking jumping up, you know, jumping on guys' fucking grills and shit. And he always said, yeah, Roger, or yeah, fucking Roger. But the way he said it was, yeah, Roger, yeah, Roger. (laughs) And kind of sounded like he was like a death metal fucking lead singer or some shit. But uh, it just kind of, I guess it kind of stuck, and um, we all started saying it. I mean, there was a buddy who, you know, I... Both of us were from Florida, and, and um, you know, we got stationed in the same place, and he was saying the same shit. You know, yeah, Roger, yeah, Roger. And, like, and his uh, platoon sergeant was like, dude, he ain't got to say yeah, Roger all the fucking time, dude. And uh, he just, you know, but he kept on. So, I mean, I guess, like I said, bro, I mean, I ain't got nothing too crazy, like, you know, some of the stories you guys are coming up with. But, I mean, <laughs> I guess a little something. It's a little something. Uh but yeah, I mean, I never thought I'd say yeah, Roger a lot, and never, even to this day, I still fucking say this shit like it's fucking plural. So you never tell a girl you pee in her well, butt. Always, always. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, that's what we're looking for. Shoot, that's the first thing you do. Can I? God. Say? <laughs> you know what? That's great. Yeah, what I mean, <laughs> snuggles, snuggles. Thank you for sharing. Well, let me jump in here and show you how it's supposed to be done. Okay. So yes, please, <clears> when I was when I was about. brainstorming. I'm telling you, dude, when I was brainstorming last night about this category, I was like, man, what are some of the most just fucked up examples of shit that I did end up having to say more than once? But, man, they were fucked up. Like, uh, here's a great one. And, Garrett, you can relate because I know you know the officer I'm talking about right now. For fuck's sake, sir, please put down the pirate sword. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay, that was the first example. See, snuggles. That's how it's done. Okay. <laughs> now, the second example I found. Sweet Jesus! I had no idea being beat with a traffic cone would bruise so bad. That or unfuck yourself, dude. Have you not been beaten by a traffic cone? <laughs> it's amazing. Is it? It is, man. It's I'm- fucking amazing. I haven't been beat by a traffic yeah. cone, but I was beat by the spoot the, the speed bump in the uh what that kit that we had, the the EOF kit. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, the escalation force kit that came with that long speed bump that rolls up. Yeah, I got beat with that. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm telling you, dude, traffic cones I'm telling you, any 
anything to do with fucking 